Yes, yes, Massive Recruit, back once again with another video, and today I'm gonna do a review on the new Mackie Mix 8 mixer. I've just literally just got this through the door, and I'm gonna give you a quick heads up in it, cut to the crap, and get straight to it. So it's got eight mix channels, uh, you've got level here, I've got mic inputs, um, it sounds okay. The reason why I got this uh, mixer is to connect my Amiga into it so that I can have um, central panning on my uh, Amiga. So I'm literally going to be plugging my Amiga into the top here. Got to get another connector, plug that in there. And then I could then pan it central because the Amiga's mono. Anyway, cut a long story short, keep it to the mixer. Uh, it's got eight tracks it says eight channels i can see here one two three and four which is a stereo i guess uh five and six at the top here you've got two separate input for left and right up here and these two are two mono ins and also you can use them for microphone um on the top here down here you've got uh, a little section here two cr headphones if you've got a tape you've got a cr out here i guess this is some sort of output I'm not sure what CR at. Anybody know what CR at is? Comment down below. Uh, you've got space here for f headphones. And you've also got this tape, which will send it to the main, I guess. And I don't know where it would go otherwise. And you've got an AUX master. So I'm guessing the AUX is, obviously, you've got an AUX return there. Is there an AUX send? Yes, you've got an AUX send. So you can put a multi fix unit if you wanted to, um, like an echo or whatever you wanted to, to add to this. Um, on this part of the mix, you just wire one out of here and then put it into your echo chamber, whatever it is, and then wire one back into there. And then, which means that from here, you could then just grab an AUX lead. And, sorry, you can then just grab the AUX button, turn it, and then it will return back here wherever you how forever how loud you set it so you can have your volume as loud as you want on your external effect so a lot of people are going to use this for podcasting but there is one flaw folks that really makes me dislike this mixer in quite a big way now if you're thinking about buying this mixer sound quality wise it's great the only thing i will say with this mixer like i said there's no power button if you look around the back you've got a power socket just there right and you have to plug in the power cable which i've labeled as mix 8 with my brother labeler and bosh the lights come on now the stupid thing is this mixer gets quite warm even in just stand below, standby mode and a lot of reviews that i've seen out there don't actually tell you this um so to me this is kind of disappointing i mean come on who makes a mixer without a power button because you know i want to be able to put this mixer tuck it away in here and when when i'm not using it i just want to be able to just get a little button and just go off simple as that now i don't know if it auto turns off on its own or whatever the case may be you know comment down below if you've gotten these mixers that's the only flaw i see with the mixer other than that i'm happy with it quality's okay uh it seems quite decent uh, for a Mackie, uh, you know, I do ex always expect the best possible quality, uh, but I am a little bit disappointed about this power button. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to try and butter it up. Uh, this is not a paid advert for Mackie. I'm giving you a non-biased review. I went out and bought this myself, and I just bought it, like I said, to, uh, for my Commodore Amiga. So, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think. What little mixer do you use for your podcast, etc. Take care. God bless. Peace. <laughs>